Hello everyone, welcome to Literature Warriors. So today this video is for uh, the students who are studying A-level literature and those who study the novel Tales of the Bovels for their A-level exam. So today I'm going to discuss another question from this novel. So this is a very common question and where you have always uh, focused your attention on but this is important to analyze uh, this very carefully uh, selecting the most important facts that you can use to uh, support this answer uh, when you are writing the answer for this question. So let's go to the question first. The question is comment on the final punishment of Tess Durbofield. So this question is uh, obviously related to the character of Tess Durbofield. So her characteristics and some other facts should be discussed in this question. So before uh, commenting on the final punishment, we should know what the uh, final punishment of Tess is. So as you all know, the as the final punishment, Tess was given death sentence for mar for murdering Alec Durbeville. So she has murdered Alec Durbeville. So when it is up to the law and order, she is a murderer, she is a killer and she has done a crime. So she should be murdered for that. Well, so uh, the first thing you need to know is here, I have mentioned several important facts here. So uh, these two facts are obviously important. You have to understand this very carefully. According to the law and order, regardless of emotions and feelings, and the fatal incidents happened in Tess's life, she is a murderer and she should be punished for her crime. So when we, uh, when we forget the things happened uh, to Tess's life, when we go through the law and order, the logical thing, so there she is a murderer, she is a criminal uh, because she has murdered uh, Alec Durberville and she should be punished for this crime. So that is the surface level understanding of us when it, is, when it comes to law and order. But when considering the pathetic psychological status of Tess as human beings, either Tess's punishment should not be the death sentence or she should not be punished at all for murdering Alec Durberville. Yeah, so here uh, I have given my idea about this. So according to my idea, I think uh, with regard to the psychological status of Tess, uh, her punishment should be reduced or she should not be given this uh, death sentence and she should not be punished at all because uh, her life has been destroyed by Alec Durbeville, uh, the person uh, who was killed by uh, Tess Durbeville. So, however, I'm going to uh, discuss some facts related to... Uh, uh, how fair this final punishment given to Tess is. So here I'm going to discuss some reasons to decrease uh, the punishment of Tess Durbofield because uh, we can't tell that Tess should not be punished uh, because uh, killing someone is, uh, is illegal and it is a crime. So, but we can give some reasons fair reasons to decrease the punishment of Tess Durberfield uh, without giving the death, death sentence for her. So let me discuss some uh, facts related to this. So, so the first point I'm going to discuss is uh, Alec to uh, as a fair reason to reduce Tess's punishment so the first point is Alex seduces Tess at a very young age taking the advantage of her innocence and helplessness. So this can be proven because uh, you know uh, already Tess, uh, all the Tess's tragedy, for all the tra Tess's tra uh, tragedy, Alec Durbeville is responsible. So when she was uh, seducing uh, 
uh, Tess was just 16 and uh, she is a mature, inexperienced and there were no encouragement for Tess Durberville uh, for that crime. So Alec Durberville is a criminal in that uh, sense So he ha because he has seduced uh, Tess. And uh, so we can tell that and there are some other factors here. Tess's complaint to mother, we can see a quotation, Oh my mother, why didn't you tell me there was danger in men folk? Why didn't you warn me? So this tells that uh, Tess was inexperienced and she was utterly helpless. And also Alec is tactful, selfish and a lustful creature. Uh, he writes a letter to Tess using the name of his blind mother asking Tess to come to Trantridge. So there we can see that Alec uh, was a criminal by seducing uh, Tess and also she has deceived Tess by uh, she has cheated Tess by writing a letter uh, by the name using the name of uh, his blind mother and Alec is an unscrupulous philanderer he has mastered the art of seducing girls so he is he makes use of Tess when she is utterly helpless therefore Alec should be punished for destroying the innocent life of Tess not Tess so there we can take this point telling that Alec also done some of the crimes cheating Tess and seducing Tess. So there we should reduce the punishment of Tess and the punishment should be given to Tess. So that is your in my point of view I'm telling this. So uh, when you are asked to comment you can give your point of views as well. So here I am using this as the first point telling that Tess's punishment final punishment should be reduced. Second point Tess's youth gets destroyed giving birth to a fatherless child and the child dies unbaptized. So uh, actually who is responsible for this? It is also Alec Durberville. So Tess had to become a mother at a very tender age uh, and uh, even to work hard in the same time bearing the responsibilities of a mother. So she had to bear up the insulting words, scornful attitudes of the society and the worst tragedy was the child's death and the burial. So I have quoted a line even and Alec is responsible for all these sufferings of Tez and Alec should be the offender though he is not punished by anyone until he dies. So actually in my point of view, Alec was not punished by anyone. He was doing so many crimes. He was cheating the girls, seducing the girls, flirting with girls. But she never get punished by anybody. Tess was the only one who punished uh, Alec. And Tess has to uh, sacrifice her life for punishing Alec. So that is what I think. And I have some reasons to tell like that. So I have brought up some reasons. So for Tess's tragedy as a very, uh, um, at a very tender age, the responsibility of this tragedy goes to Alec. So there, Tess's punishment should be obviously deducted and uh, decreased. Well, the third point, Alec is responsible for the dismissal of Tess's husband Angel. So remember now, I'm commenting on, I'm giving some facts to prove that Tess, uh, Tess has done this, te what Tess done to Alec is somewhat fair. So this is the third point I'm taking out. Alec is responsible for the dismissal of Tess's husband Angel. So Tess uh, falls in love with Angel for the first time and experiences love and affection from a person she loves because with Alec uh, Tess never loved Alec and it was done forcefully at the very beginning of new life with marital bliss she loses her lover after her face fatal confession about a past tragedy due to Alec there are some other things to be considered you know Angel did not understood uh, did not understand Tess fully 
when she was uh, confessing confessing herself telling about her tragedy but we are not going to talk about those things here because remember this question is asked to comment on whether the final punishment given to Tess is correct or it is fair or unfair so we are taking facts to prove that our idea so uh, my idea has been told first so I'm going to prove now that uh, it is not fair to give the death sentence and that type of harsh punish punishment for Tess so you know now uh, she was enjoying the marital bliss but uh, from the very first night after her marriage she has to confess she had to confess and that confession was she had to do that confession because that uh, tragedy was caused by alec so alec is again responsible for the dismissal of uh, tess's husband as well then the next point tess loses her husband for the second time due to alec and you can remember if you have read the book when Tess was highly disturbed with the separation of Angel and financial conditions, Alec again captures her and she loses her lover for the second time due to Alec d'Urberville. Uh, so this incident, I think you can remember this, Angel, when Angel returns, uh, Tess was with Alec at Sandborn which makes Angel to leave Tess for the second time. So here you should remember this uh alec was again cheating and deceiving tess and taking the opportunity when she was utterly helpless and uh, she cannot bear up her family conditions they did not have any way to survive so alec take the opportunity and then for the second time she loses angel because uh, again tess was in the trap of uh, alec well so there i have mentioned several facts regarding that um, yeah twice in her life he plays a crucial role both occasions alec brings uh, the disaster in her life first by seducing her and later convincing that her husband would not return so at first uh, tess did not believe this uh, but later on she had to believe this because she was utterly helpless and she has to uh, take the responsibility of the she had to take the responsibility of the family as well okay next point Tess kills Alec willingly and knowingly Alec has been instrumental in bringing about Tess's destruction his actions have caused her untold suffering and have completely wrecked her happiness so we know we all know that Tess kills Alec willingly and knowingly so that is a crime we can't say that she was not in proper senses when she was killing Alec no she was in proper senses uh, she uh, did it willingly and knowingly but we should not forget that this type of incident was happened because Tess was Tess was utterly desperate because the whole life of Tess has been destroyed by Alec. So it is fair to as human beings, as people with sensitivity, um, we feel sorry for Tess, not for Alec. So we feel like the judgment, uh, the final punishment should be reduced. Though Tess physically kills Alec, Alec has already murdered Tess mentally uprooting her fresh youthfulness, purity giving an unbearable burden to a girl, and Alec is the person who is responsible for her down for the uh, for her downfall. And he his deeds persuaded Tess to do this crime. So that is how we tell that uh, the final punishment given to Tess is unfair. So as the final statement you can mention like therefore in terms of emotional and understanding of human emotions and understanding of human psychology it is Alec that should be punished uh, for destroying a beautiful feminine life. So the final punishment given to Tess cannot be justified when considering her tragedy that she underwent 
at a very tender age so that is how uh, in my opinion that is how i prove that the final punishment given to tess is not fair well so uh, you also can add your idea some may can say that uh, the final punishment given to tess is fair because uh, she has already murdered someone a human being murdering someone is a crime yeah so never mind but you have some facts to provide that so you also can take some of the points i have provided when you are writing answers so uh, hope to come up with another question from tests of derbo wells and i hope to conduct a four day session for the novel Tess of Durbo Wills to discuss the summaries and questions. So if you like to join that session, you can send me a WhatsApp message to 076-5785134. And then I can add you to the group and we'll let you know more information about the session I'm going to conduct. Thank you everyone for watching.